Steak and Shake is undeniable Americana. Red and chrome 1950s diners with thick milkshakes and greasy steak burgers. But what's the true cost of keeping those 1950s prices? Keep watching to find out. Steak and Shake has its roots in the Midwest. The first restaurant was founded in 1934 in an Illinois town fittingly called Normal. Since then, the franchise has exploded to hundreds of locations, operating in the U.S., Europe, and the Middle East. These days, the restaurant offers typical fast food options like burgers, fries, and chicken fingers with many locations open 24-7. Steak and Shake has one of the rare dining concepts that are good for both dine-in and drive through service. The charming vintage atmosphere and hearty portions create the sense that you're eating more of a meal than you could at your typical fast food chain. However, the price point remains just as low as those other establishments. Steak and Shake's famous $4 combo menu is its biggest draw. The offerings include three burger options like the double steak burger and bacon and cheese single steak burger, as well as the chicken fingers. You really can't beat getting a complete meal for less than $5. Back in 2013, some Colorado customers were surprised to see that the discounted menu items were listed at $5 apiece. Since it wasn't profitable for franchisees to sell meals for $4, many locations entered into a dispute with owner Big Laurie Holdings. Some franchisees settled, but it has definitely remained a point of contention. The meal deal is a major part of Steak and Shake's national marketing, even though it might result in a financial loss on the company's end. 24 meals under $4, just like in 1934. $4 was a lot in those days. That can't be right. The entire Steak and Shake menu is pretty no-nonsense. Burgers, milkshakes, fries, hot dogs, and chili make up the bulk of their offerings, so there are very few core items that the kitchen has to keep stocked at all times. They keep things interesting by offering tasty burger toppings like garlic butter and caramelized onions, but the core items remain minimal. It's definitely more profitable for a restaurant to streamline its menu, which cuts down the cost of buying ingredients regularly. To make the various steaks and shakes, the company needs to have several shelf-stable toppings on hand that that it can buy in bulk. It doesn't need to load its fridges with produce that spoils quickly. Steak and Shake cuts down on food waste by limiting perishable items and buying ingredients that can be used for several different meals. While the ingredients are minimal, they're also high quality. The burgers use a mix of ground round, sirloin, and T-bone, while milkshakes use premium ice cream. However, Steak and Shake's menu is also littered with more profitable items, such as coffee and soda, which often have high markups. Another guaranteed moneymaker in the restaurant business is the kids' menu something that Steak and Shake definitely works to its advantage. The chain offers an extensive kids' menu containing many portions of regular menu items. The price point per menu item remains between $4 and $5, with drinks included in the kids' combos. However, these significantly reduced portions are an easy way to increase profits. Steak and Shake's owner, Big Lari Holdings, is an investment company worth $270 million. Outside of Steak and Shake, it owns several profitable companies, allowing it to sustain a typically unsustainable business model. Big Lari has a wide range of businesses in its portfolio, including the Western Sizzlin Restaurant Group, the Maxim Media Company, Southern Oil Company, and a few insurance businesses that contribute to its profit margin. It's typical for major fast food chains to be backed by corporations with diversified assets. This backing allows the chain to offer competitive low-cost options. However, this model is particularly crucial for Steak and Shake, which rarely sells menu items over $10. Like many fast food companies, Steak and Shake is also saving money when it comes to worker wages. Restaurant jobs are notorious for lighter paychecks, but it depends on what position you hold at the business. Steak and Shake team members and cooks currently make around $12.10 to $12.60 an hour, according to Indeed. If you're a shift manager, you make a bit more, around $14.37, and a general manager makes about $18 an hour. There are also insurance benefits available for team members, which is a major expense on the company's side. Steak and Shake is currently pivoting to a self service model in an effort to increase efficiency, especially in light of the recent labor shortage. The company began implementing self-service kiosks, cutting down on costs by minimizing the number of employees needed each shift. In recent years, Steak and Shake has seemingly pared down its already simple menu as well. Items can vary from location to location, but comparing menus from 2022 and 2018, it's clear that the current selection is significantly streamlined. Back in 2018, Steak and Shake offered different sandwiches like grilled chicken or a turkey club. It also had a salad menu, which has since disappeared entirely. The 2022 menu includes very little outside of hot dogs, steak burgers, and milkshakes, making for a simpler operation. There is little room for error, and profits can remain comfortably the same.
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite food chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.